Five gut friendly foods for weight loss as a mother and daughter who lost 240 pounds combined. Yeah, we we're thinking about weight loss not from a perspective of just getting thin, but from health because unfortunately you lost your grandmother. I lost my mother to severe obesity. It's quite serious for us and it extends way past vanity. The number one food that's gut friendly is, of course, fermented foods. This has been a healing tradition in every culture throughout time, regardless of race, color, religion, caste, you name it. Fermented foods are things that you might know like called sauerkraut. Fermented foods are rare in our world here in the West. We don't eat many of them, but they are so good for us. It's so inexpensive to do it yourself. I recommend you learn how if you haven't yet. We don't have any videos yet on this, but you can go to your grocery store and buy some, but you know that $7 or $12 bottle of fermented cabbage or vegetables that you might get at the grocery store. Well, you could do that for just a few dollars at home on your countertop, but you do need to know what you're doing. Fermented foods go into your gut microbiome. That means your belly and they help to grow beneficial bacteria. It's way better for you than buying those expensive probiotics to rebuild your gut microbiome. When you eat fermented foods, try to eat them right before your meal. Take a few tablespoons and enjoy them in abundance. Believe it or not, it's a great way if you're traveling or you don't have grocery stores close by. It's a great way to get vegetables in your life that last for a long time because fermented foods in your fridge will last for months. And that's what they used to use fermented foods for in Russia and, and before refrigeration was a common thing. They just fermented vegetables in the summer so they would have food for the winter. It is an ancient healing tradition and one that can absolutely accelerate your weight loss. Number two is high fiber veggies. Now I learned recently that if you have 30 different varieties of fiber, meaning different lettuces and broccoli and cauliflower, all different kinds of fiber, that it actually is very good for your gut microbiome. Isn't that true? Absolutely. The new research came out of Canada and we're really excited to learn this because we thought that it was just 25 grams a day of fiber, right? That's what the recommended daily average is from the government. And we're like, okay, well, let's take a fiber supplement. You know, but come to find out, not all fiber is created equally. The fiber from a pear is different than the fiber from an apple, which is different than the fiber from a squash, which is, you know, all the fibers play their role. And it's kind of fun. You can just think about like all the little bacteria having a party in your belly. And like, they just like keep growing and creating more family members. And it's like a happy gut microbiome when you have a lot of different types of fibers. So we tend to buy like six or eight different types of lettuce to make our colossal salad mix. Or you could buy, you know, whatever, a little bit of this, a little bit of that at the grocery store and just start, you know, changing it up in your diet. Change it up for your kids, change it up for your husband, and then reap the rewards of better immunity, clearer thinking, more positive, uh, you know, all kinds, I mean, like the benefits just like, just mind blowing what the benefits are. When you increase the variety of fiber and of course the amount of fiber because you get full on fiber. It's a great weight loss hack because you say, well, either you're gonna get full on fat or you're gonna get full on protein. But too much of any of those things is gonna like clog up your basement membrane in your cells. It's gonna like make your liver sluggish. It's gonna make you like over time not function optimally in your blood, in your cells, and in your body. And so it can also muck up and slow down and plateau your weight loss results. So one thing we know, super cheap, super easy, super accessible, is eating a variety of fiber. That's just the way we were designed by nature. So we just like to leverage the body's natural healing potential and just lose that weight effortlessly with deliciousness. If you want some ideas on recipes, definitely hit us up, check out our Instagram, and we love to share all kinds of delicious food with you. Number three, legumes. Not everyone can digest legumes, let's face it. It can be a challenge, but I do want you to consider challenging yourself. Now that means you could sprout legumes. They can be a lot easier to digest if you prepare them traditionally, which means soaking, maybe even sprouting before you cook them. Smaller quantities, you don't need a huge quantity. I found that when I eat like over a cup of beans, I get kind of sick. So it's fine to just have a few tablespoons or even a quarter of a cup. So if you want to have that bean chili, you're definitely going to feel fuller. You're going to get a lot of fiber. You're going to get a lot of protein. It's a great, great option to keep you satiated. So that will reduce your appetite, which can increase your weight loss. Now, why is it in the uh, gut friendly food list? Well, because it has a very unique benefit for a specific kind of bacteria that your body needs that can help transfer food into short chain fatty acids, which help you to lose weight. There was a longevity study done recently, and it showed that one of the reasons why these populations are living longer is because of their legume consumption. Now that, that just isn't one day. That means that it's a mainstay in their diet throughout their lives. Legumes are definitely proven to be a healthy longevity food and a healthy weight loss food. And 
and a healthy gut microbiome boosting food. Number four is whole grains. I know most people don't believe whole grains can be a gut friendly food or even a weight loss food, but I'm here to tell you that's not true. Now, what happens to me when I eat grains is I just want to go crazy. I want to eat like cups and cups and cups of them because I love the way they taste. I love the way they make me feel and it's like this comfort food, but in moderation. Whole grains can be an excellent way to boost your gut microbiome because of the type of fiber and it can also reduce your appetite. Now, when I talk about whole grains, I'm not talking about flour. I'm talking about whole millet, whole amaranth, whole quinoa. Whole grains contain unique types of fiber, phytonutrients, and fatty acid. So it's a great idea to include whole grains in moderation. My ideal form where I don't gain weight at all is when they're sprouted, like sprouted quinoa tabbouleh, one of my absolute favorite recipes. So nuts and seeds, uh, a lot of phytonutrients and fatty acids that are really good, they also scrape the lining of your intestine. So they kind of like clean it um, as they're going through. I'm sure there's other things as well, um, but also the fiber, of course, but the phytonutrients like encapsulated in the, um, with the fat, gives it kind of like transport system to deliver nutrients to your body. Whole nuts and seeds, right? Not the oils from nuts and seeds, right? The whole nuts and seeds, like the whole thing, the fiber, the nutrients, the fat, like in its perfect nature found, not extracted. Nuts and seeds are gut friendly foods for faster weight loss because they increase satiation and they um, are a great source of whole food form, fiber, fats, and nutrients. If you're a woman or a mom looking to lose weight, I used to be 320 pounds myself and I understand the struggle of being overweight. So if you want to join our Women's Coaching Accountability Group, please reach out to us. Our email is in the below. You can also DM us on Instagram. We would love to have you. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe and comment down below what your favorite weight loss food is.